Orange Line riders faced more problems today. A disabled train at Oak Grove. And that didn't bother one woman who normally takes the train. She was on board the train that caught fire yesterday. And she told WBZ's Anna Myler she's completely skipping the tea for now. Orange Line service is back to normal today, but passengers are still dealing with yesterday's incident, both mentally and physically. One woman telling me she's not getting back on a train anytime soon. It was definitely the most scared I've ever felt in my life. In this chaotic cell phone video from inside an Orange Line train, you can see Caitlin Kenny heading for a window, yelling, I'm scared, and then jumping out. Getting shoved on the train, people were shoving each other, trying to get out of the window. like. It was absolute like mayhem. I woke up this morning and I have huge bruises all up and down my legs. Caitlin says when passengers realized the train had caught fire, they tried to exit through the doors, but they wouldn't open. And that's when people started kicking out the windows to escape. That fear, I don't wish that on anyone. That was that was panic. I actually had like a lot of nightmares last night. I could not sleep. The MBTA's preliminary investigation shows that a side panel on the car came in contact with the third rail, igniting material under the train. Train. Obviously, this is a, a, a frightening incident and not the type of service that we want to provide to our customers. I want to offer my apology to the folks who were on that train. Like a piece of metal getting loose, there's no way that could have not been prevented. Caitlin also says the T operators on board did not give them any updates or instructions, which added to the confusion. There was no talking, no communication. Nothing made sense in that situation. Nothing made sense. I'm really angry and I will not be riding the train for a long time. This incident is still under investigation and the T says they'll be transparent with their findings. They acknowledge this situation is testing the public's trust and they promise to take steps to prevent it from happening again. Reporting in Somerville, Anna Myler, WBZ News.